going on everyone? This is Liam Kettison here with episode number 13 of season 4 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. which is BOOM! Everything's going to explode in this episode, I bet. Given with the title, who knows. Um, but yeah, everything did explode for the hero side in terms of like uh, setbacks um, in the last episode because now we've lost a dark hole to Radcliffe who's been eyeing up for it. Um, someone is pinning the blade, Ivanov, I th uh, yeah he's called that. He's pinning everything um, going on with Phil and not very happy about that actually uh, given the last episode. And now they know that May was an LMD um, for a few episodes because of the little kind of revelation that everyone found out now in the last episode, um, both in t two different scenarios. I mean, Phil had a hunch when he said, you, there's some things you can't fake, whereas Simmons identified with the whole episode 3 ordeal when she was infected and noticed something was off especially with the plural as well because you said brains as well so it was more than one being created so yeah everything's not looking too rosy at the minute but hopefully that can be averted soon because uh, there's going to be bad things being constructed now that Redcliffe has hold of the dark hold and it's just not looking good so without further ado, this is episode number 13 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Really looking forward to see how season 4 can continue to capitalise on how strong it's been this far. So without further ado, let's go. I've lost my temper. I've killed. <laughs> you just say that in front of him, Wait, like, ooh. I have this voice in my head telling me not to go down that path again. It's telling me to be patient. There's a lot of things that went just air, like, that Phil you, went me, into sir. in terms of dangerous waters Stage in season 3. Wait. Let's say that's confirmation. Hey. Wait, so. Wait, what? So Ada was constructed from a real life version of Agnes. It is potentially lethal. Oh, shh. So stop. So you're saying yeah. it's a little risky. What she's saying is I'm to saying get off the serum. You've been fortunate so if you want far, to live. the next injection might cause cardiac arrest. And if it doesn't, the one after is even more likely to kill you, and so on and so on. So until... it's like degrading his body. Oh, sure no. The are gunning for the inhumans. I need to do something more. Hello. I felt the same way when There's I started lot... working with the Avengers. It's not easy to find your place. Now you got agents to see So what did you do? <sighs> Well, he died. I did my best to protect the team. Turns out I had a role to play. Who make the right decision? Because right he was time. the one that cool. kind of brought the Avengers together. The well, his I try to avoid death that part. did. Goes without saying. Thanks, Phil. But, uh, you, he's he's just wanting to contribute the best way he can. The work you did with Holden Radcliffe. Ooh, that's a that's touched a nerve. Our work. I touched it up. It's like looking in a mirror, Actually, isn't it? it? So, them two you had a thing, hard, and I assume harder, she I deviated away from Radcliffe. Radcliffe replicated her so he could have someone loyal to, to her in some sense. No, wait. Shit. Wait. Oh, shit. Wait. No. Oh, he, yeah. No. You got it. <laughs> Today's winner is. Thing, you son of a. Oh, shh. Damn. Scarce, but it appears that Senator Ellen Nadir's office was so he can, yeah, so he's boom. Casualties and one positive identification. Yep. We are sad to confirm that Senator Ellen Nadir is dead. First I mean, is among the dead. Reporting live for CNN, we we'll send it back to you in the story. Okay. I'm, it's a shame, well, but it's not a shame. You killed. And plus, she, she was a bitch. Was that he couldn't deal with failure, so oh. he left me. Brand, really. Boring, just your garden variety brain tumor. But at least it's in a really interesting place, which makes it totally inoperable. I'm sorry. Yeah. 
See that's us. I mean, you could see there goes the sympathizer for the ball. again. Oh, here we go. The inhibitors behind this chick, but um, yeah, because. Like she said, he couldn't face failure, and a brain, an inoperable brain tumor, is something that well, you know. That by solving this thing. Yeah, it, it kind of makes you feel for him because all he wanted to do was fix, and he and he couldn't deal with the failure. But I can't believe Holden would do something like that. Well, he has healing, enhancing, prolonging life. And it's a lot to explain. Yeah, he's wanting to make the world a better place, but of something dark and powerful, he is not the same man you knew. He's... Come on, Ada. You have to... Oh, Ada. Agnes! Oh. Agnes. Just... What do you need me to do? I just really love that, like, plea from Bill. Because... May and him have a really, really close connection. Welcome to Shield Custody. It was just really, really sweet how he just pleaded to Agnes and how there was some similarities between May and Agnes, of course. I'll speak to as the director. <laughs> okay. Great guess. Yeah, there we go. Oh! Let's try again now, shall we? Are we going to be speaking now? Where is Radcliffe? Make with the otherwise there'll be more heads being banged. This is just going to be really, really kicking Radcliffe. Someone close to. His past's coming back to haunt him. No, she needs my help. You, like I said, you can really feel for Radcliffe in a sense, but he's still messed up with what he's doing in that. Get away from him! He's the bomb! Oh, is he going through the bomb again? Oh, shit! Yeah. Oh, shit. No, 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 no! Oh! He's... I guess that's how you know he's. Oh shh! We need to find something that can. Could... Yeah, put him in. The... Come on, quickly, boy. Oh. Damn. So he's literally a walking ball. When you're doing it, you could have been blown to bits. Oh. <sighs> I mean. Oh man. They blew away. They got blown away. I mean, uh, to be fair, as much as he enjoys it, I think that power would suck so much. You get blown apart, you get built up. Agent Johnson. I don't know. I mean, it would suck. Especially if you're wearing good clothes and that. Oh no. In a war to protect humanity, I Yeah, this, this can help the watchdogs because he, because he can explode, so. I mean, to be fair, the watchdogs could use him as a weapon rather Anything than else I can do for something you? that they yeah. can hate. Run. Oh no, oh no. And there we go, you can control that. Frack. Frack. Perhaps you're not finding the right counter vibration. Pete, we have to keep, we have to keep it in the, like, under 18 zone. Breakthrough I've made is way beyond that. Framework. Framework. Maze in it, world, and she's got a happier life. You wouldn't even be the first to experience it. I have a subject in the framework right now, and she's thriving. I can give you a full okay. oh. happy life. That's that's all I Don't listen, Agnes. You. Don't listen. Oh, Do listen to him. Keep him there. but she's gonna listen, she, because this is the, the brain chip. Oh, she is. I mean, you got. See, I hate it when Marvel do shit like this because I don't know how to feel. So thank you. I'm now got another reason to be like uh, to sound like a dick if I uh, am against him. If I can't keep them together, I might as well blow them apart. Yeah, keep blowing them apart more and more and more. I think that might be the oh damn. <laughs> Public if you wanted to get me naked, all you have to Public indecency! That's public. <laughs> so I thought Daisy was supposed to stop him from doing that. I think wear him out instead. Yeah. We more and him. more and do. more. Tell those Russians who's boss. He is actually. <laughs> oh is he? no! 
No, no. Proof. Don't you even dare do it. Don't you even dare. Don't let those animals destroy each other. We have the inhuman director of shield. Sure now. Go on. Ah. Might be super strong, but he's still human. Your friends aren't coming to ah. Oh, yeah. Back in remote. Back, yep. Yeah. Are you ready for a better them two, them two can have, well, she can have a life with Radcliffe that she didn't have, like she couldn't have had because Radcliffe. She's in her own world, her better world. And she doesn't she have to. Made her choice. I mean, to be fair, you couldn't blame her. It doesn't matter. And the framework of consciousness quite... will live forever. The body will um, She is this something like carrying on her? Uh-oh. So I'm not sure what she's planning to do with that. I mean, I'm not sure if that's just to say, like, oh, I'm the real deal now. She's dead or something like that. So maybe that li little bit of jealousy vibes because she is the... Because Agnes is built... Uh, well, not Agnes. Ada's built based on Agnes. So she wants to become, become like the alpha female, I guess you could say, in... Um, this respect, but oh man, and and I think May twitching at the end probably has something to do with the fact I'm not sure. Like it seems like her peaceful um, reality is coming to some kind of conclusion, or she's met Agnes because they're probably in the same framework or whatever. Who knows? And she thinks it's Ada, um, so who knows? But that was a solid episode. It gave you a little bit of sympathy for. Radcliffe, but here's the thing. I feel I'm gonna feel like a complete ass if I'm going to if I'm going to say like I'm not a hundred percent like on like I'm a hundred percent against him and what he's doing should go in the bin or whatever. I see what he's. It's kind of I don't know why. Um, when Agnes passed away and whatnot, it kind of reminded me of River Song in uh, Forest of the Dead. Where, like, she died in the real world, but her consciousness lived on in this um, other world, of course. Um, but, yeah, you can see what he's doing. And it, it, it all goes to Marvel creating great villains you can sympathise with again. Because he's created this framework so that Agnes can, you know, no longer be suffering with the brain tumour. And he can actually fix it. He's it, it's It's a bit of, like traumatic background when you think about it because he's o he was only doing his best for Agnes and yes he's done a lot of dodgy stuff and there's stuff that we do not approve of uh, with the whole story that he's had uh, thus far but you can't blame a guy for trying it uh, as they say and you have that level of sympathy for him uh, he's only doing uh, he's only wanting to create not just a better world for Agnes, but for everyone else, because you see what he's doing with me. The only bummer is it's not legit. It 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 does it doesn't like really affect things in the real world unless they do like unless May does come out of the framework altered and thinking she does she did save the girl. But that's the thing though. Like she's not only creating a world where Agnes does not have to suffer anymore, uh, but for May as well, she's not suffering with. The biggest uh, loss in her life, the uh, the event that changed her. So he's doing, he's do, he's trying to be a justable villain and whatnot. Like Marvel do their villains really, really great. Um, going to Zemo in Captain America: Civil War, like he felt the Avengers screwed him over, and. He d he was only he he did. It's not like your typical. Oh, I'm gonna come and rule the world, and everyone's going to bow before me, and all that kind of stuff. Like it's not like that. They do a lot of like stuff where you know they have a means to their dodgy direction they're going in. 
Same with Radcliffe, and you, it's it's got that level of sympathy. So it's just really, really big good. Um, but no, that was a powerful story, powerful stuff with the whole a uh, dark old situation going on. Yeah, uh, the Radcliffe story it was really powerful stuff, and even at the end when. Uh, she passed away. Like you can see how much it hurt him. He's he's that kind of character who has some sympathy because he's not a full blown sadistic piece of shit. Because he's shown restraint about killing. He's 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 shown compassion. So whereas he's done some dodgy stuff and stuff that you really can't excuse in some terms, he's also doing stuff which he wants to create a better world uh, with May with Agnes. So who knows what uh, maybe. The relationship with Fitz's father, for example, if Fitz was in the framework, he could have a great relationship with his father, because we all know how strange that was as well, so... But damn, uh, it was really good. Also, on the other side with S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, chasing down um, Tucker, who was... Uh, I'm, I'm just amazed with how quick they killed off Nadir and whatnot, like... It was so unexpected. I didn't think she'd be dying at this point of the um, season. Like, maybe towards the end. But damn, they made quick work of that. And I just love the whole confusion. Like, he does, he didn't know at first because uh, he was going through Terragenesis. And um, now he knows. It, it, it can work for the Watch Dogs, though. Tucker being a weapon. Because he could have exploded put together. They could have done some real good, uh, well, real good for them. Work against the Inhumans. But uh, now that's not going to be a problem because he was sucked in. Yee. Um, but I just love Jeffrey's um, story as well because he's really passionate on helping everyone out. And he was trying to find his place in the team knowing that he can't really rely on his super strength because that could probably have some bad effects on him. Like he could kill him. Like Gemma said, it could cause a cardiac... It could cause a cardiac... I can't speak. It could cause a cardiac arrest and if not then it could fatally kill you, so don't use it, Jeffrey. <laughs> but now the watchdogs have him and it's oh it's all going south. But it was a really awesome episode. I just really enjoyed it. The whole um took a, a Shockley fig was really uh, neat and the whole kind of strain there was to try and t uh, tame him. Um because you had it was exhausting for Daisy to battle him when he kept uh, coming back together, but it was a really great story. You felt for Radcliffe in this episode with his past experiences and why he and how he constructed Ada based on Agnes, someone who he could be attached to. Um, because, ro like, at least he's got some like some form of Agnes there, but uh, she's she's not really living up well to the memory because Agnes, a nicer person, someone compassionate, and Ada. Well, just ask Nathanson. But, uh, no, it was a really powerful episode. It was really great stuff. And things are just going to hell now that uh, the Watch Dogs have their hands on um, on Jeffrey. And we'll ju we just have to wait and see what happens next. It's going to be really awesome, especially the next coming episode. Because people have hyped me up for that. So I'm really intrigued to see what happens. But an awesome episode, awesome stuff, and great episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right. If you want to check out more of my content, you can also subscribe to my Media channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!